Seven wins in a row. Luna Light, free to play. One, two, three. DC, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Do you like free to play? Do you also like furries? Of course you do. Free to play, seven and oh. Luna Lights, let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. In today's video, we are partnered up with Raid. Dark, epic, legendary. Raid Shadow Legends is free to play on PC and mobile. Let's summon some champions. Ooh, she's a good support. Oh, he's got good single target. Yes, just what I needed. Now it's time to sacrifice my other champions to level up my queen. Sacrifice all the men. Ba boost the level. The season one battle pass is a perfect time to get in and start your journey. Through daily and weekly challenges in the battle pass, you can obtain free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new legendary champions. Go to the download link in my description below to gain exclusive of new player benefits such as 100,000 silver, two clan boss battle keys, 10 mysterious shards, and a free champion adjudicator. Oh, she's ready to adjudicate. In the top right is where you can collect all of these rewards, which are only available for 30 days. Download the game right now. I appreciate you for doing so. Best new free to play deck. That's right, I could call this the best new free to play deck. What is my definition of free to play? Cause I know there's gonna be a fool in the comments going, I have a full light sworn and blue eyes deck free to play. No you don't, you got lucky. So my definition of free to play is only going through a main box once without resetting or going through a mini box twice without resetting. So what are the big pay to win cards here that you're gonna get for free? Just Martin and also Saber Dancer. You only need one Saber Dancer and you want to. Get at least two Martin and that's going to be all through going to the box just once. No reset. I did it on stream real quick. It took me about 5,000 gems. So if you have 5,000 gems, you could pretty much build this deck. Also, you're gonna wanna spend 500 or 1,000 gems, I forget, to get your Keeper of Dragon Magic. Now this deck, I will tell you, does become better when you play more than one Neos Fusion. And I think that more than two Martin, it, it's arguably, it goes back and forth two to three. But beyond that, this is what you got. This is the base. Free to play, best new free to play deck. Let's focus on the boss monsters. Both of these boss monsters you could very easily summon the Saber Dancer and the Cat Dancer. Saber Dancer is nearly an instant win versus so many decks like Dark Magician. You summon this first Dark Magician, at minimum, it's gonna be 34 to 3600 attack on its first summon, and it cannot be targeted. Straight up, that's it. Huge, can't be targeted. How are they gonna deal with it? They really can't. Cavalry is gonna be their best way, and cavalry is normally gonna be smaller than your Saber Dancer. So just summoning this is an instant win versus many decks. Now, the other card you're gonna summon more of is the Cat Dancer. This requires only two Luna Lights. This requires three with any of your fusion cards. Now, Cat Dancer, to win the duel, all you have to do is summon it using a Fox, because Fox is going to put their monster to zero attack, and then you need another Luna Light alongside yourself to tribute, then you have the effect of attacking all monsters twice. And on that double attack on the first one, they do not get destroyed by battle. So on the first attack, they take the full 24 plus 100 per attack, you deal an extra 100 damage. Then on the second attack, lethal. Even a Kite Roid could not stop this. This is gonna be your main, main win condition. Now, what's an easy way to get another monster alongside it? Well, when you send Bird or Martin to the grave, Bird's gonna activate to special summon another Luna Light onto the field that's banished or from the grave, so that monster could be tributed, or Martin in the grave could very easily just return a Luna Light you control back to the hand to summon Luna Light Martin onto the field, so now it could be tributed. Now, what makes this deck so consistent? We're playing Luna Light Fusion, 
and it could use your extra deck or deck to help assist in the fusion. Normally, it's just your field in your hand. If they have an extra deck monster like a Cockatiss, boom, use the deck. This card is searched for by Martin going to the grave by a card effect. So you might be wondering, why are we playing Keeper in Neos Fusion? Why, DK? why? Well, Keeper will discard a card to grab a Luna Light Fusion, or Keeper will discard a card to grab Neos Fusion. If you activate Neos Fusion and you send Martin from the deck to the graveyard, Martin will activate to search for a Luna Light Fusion to be used next turn. So opening up with a Neos Fusion is a really good turn one opening play to set up for next turn. Because we are free to play and we're not playing multiple keepers and or more than two Martin, I am filling the gap with Palmerization. So as you add more keepers, which could search the fusion itself, you could take up Palmerizations. It's the same thing as Luna Light Fusion besides the extra effect of using a monster from your deck if they have an extra deck monster on the field. And a good thing about Palmerization is you could Palmerize, then use Luna Light Fusion. Otherwise, you cannot use two Luna Light Fusions in a turn. So if you're in a situation where they have a navigation in the grave and they're gonna negate your Light Luna Light Fusion, they negate it, you can't activate another. But if you Palmerize, they negate it, then follow up with a Luna Light Fusion, that could be incredibly beneficial. A core combo is with Bird and Martin. You're going to summon the Bird, discard Martin, draw a card. Martin will search for a fusion. So you drew and you search for a fusion. Now you're going to activate Martin in the grave to return Bird back to the hand to summon Martin in the field. Then you're going to fuse. If you use the Martin and the Bird, you're going to summon a Cat Dancer. The Martin will be banished. The Bird will hit the grave. Then the Bird will activate to summon Martin back on the field for a second time. And then you could tribute the Martin for the effect of Cat Dancer. But ideally, when you make your fusion plays, you want to be sending Fox to the grave to reduce them to zero attack. For example, if they have a single attack position monster on the field, you open up Keeper, Keeper, grab Neos Fusion, Neos Fusion, send Fox, Fox put them to zero. That is lethal with just the Keeper and the Brave Neos. The other great effect of Fox is banish itself from the grave to protect any of your Luna Lights from a targeting effect. You negate the activation, so for example, against a Fiendish Chain, it won't destroy it, but by negating the activation, it does get destroyed, it does get sent to the grave. And also, we have Butterfly and Rabbit. These are just extras. We don't rarely use them too much, but Butterfly can be discarded to boost up a Luna Light plus 1,000 to have an extra lethal with Cat Dancer or boost up your fusion or maybe win out the mirror match. And to wrap it up, the skill we are playing is Grit. Why are we playing Grit even though I didn't even trigger it once in our 7 and 0? Oh? Well, if this deck becomes popular, remember I just told you the Neos Fusion with the Fox is a lethal or just sending Fox to the graveyard is lethal. If this deck becomes popular, you're going to need Grit to protect yourself or you're gonna lose right away. So do consider Grit. You could play another fun skill like Fatal Five if you want. I don't think there was any duel I even had where I could have Fatal Five for the win, but you do you. But if your opponent's playing Grit and you're not and they beat you because of it, Remember this video, free to play, fools. We're not gonna be YOLO. No, we're gonna play correctly. Send, send, send. Send you, send you, send you. Now, do we care about being 3,600? Is that a big deal? I don't think so. So we're going to summon the butterfly. There we go. Butterfly it up. Now, Butterfly with Martin. Whoa, Lancia, when I am not banishing at all, but thank you. Now, Butterfly, its effects negated, but if we draw into a Martin, we can return it back to the hand. Let's go. Dome, thank you for the prime for ten. Oh, yeah, that's right. Keeper of Dragon Met. What's great about this deck is we get extra resources if his monster is from the extra deck, which he's about. Whoa, Miracle Fusion, that's not good. That's, as long as he doesn't have a Stratos, I think we're okay. Stratos will reduce the Dancer by half because of the Great Tornado. We don't want that. No, to no Tornado! What is this? What is this? Sh Shining? You're bigger than me? No, you're 29. That Field Spell does not boost you. Oh my Jesus. Neos Fusion. He's boosted per Banished, not even in the Grave, so he's not going to get any bigger. We're good. 80 changer, you can't target me, fool. But it'll probably activate it anyway. Uh-huh. Dome E, prime for 10 months, two months. Ha! Ha ha! Okay. 
I guess we want to keep the the grit. Psh, I don't know. Whatever. Negate. Might have been better to keep that for the dancer, but nah, we chilling. We we're not gonna be able to make a dancer anyway for a while. For a while. Battle me up. Search for another Neos Fusion. Good deal. Now the Shining. When we take out the Shining, the Shining could target two Banish Elemental Hero monsters. Add them to the hand. So we do have to be careful about that. Lunar Light Fusion. We could use it, but it would send our Dancer to the grave. Our Saber Dancer. I can't say Dancer. I gotta say Saber because when they when they put all. I, I hate when they put the same name at the end because I like saying their last name. Grind them out. Let's grind them. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Can't whip out the cat. That'd be so broken. If you could banish it to turn it was sent to the grave, that'd be too good. Too good. We'll do a quick test. We'll do a test. You want to see the latency right now? This is this. Oh God, mute. Okay. I appreciate you. It wasn't you. What the? What is he doing? Why is he doing this? Why he do this? Oh, he bought boost in that Brave Neos. Brave Neos is almost big enough. Almost thick enough. Could Fatal Five here against a back row card and then lose? No. Fox is here. Let's fox it up. Let's fox it up. Luna. Light. Fusion. Luna Light Fusion. What do we want to... We want to send the fox. Of course, we have to do the fox in the hand, though. Why does it go from left to right? That's not cute. Send that one. And then we could have Bird Special Summon. We could have Martin Search for another fusion. Rabbit ain't gonna do anything. If we go for Bird, Bird's just gonna summon a monster on the field, which is not... You know, I, I guess it's gonna be good enough for the for the dancer double swing. Maybe we try to go for lethal like that. We have double lethal. That'd be good. Threaten the double lethal, and the fox is gonna be protected by any card that targets. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Cat dancer, dance on this fool. Fox get reducing. Reduce. Bird get summoning. We want Fox in the grave. We could summon the banished Fox. Uh-huh. Nothing, no floodgate trap hole. What a mad lad. What a mad lad. Get tributing. Double attack, lethal <laughs> Phoenix chain. Wait, Crimson Fox is gonna be like the, just to show you. So Crimson Fox, you can negate the activation if you do. Each player gains 1,000. If we were to quickly read Crystron Impact, Impact says, what's the, is there a difference? Target, blah, 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 blah. Negate the effect. So this is not negate the activation. So let's see the difference. Gain 1,000 life. Activation. Negated. Double Fiendish Chain. What the? Activation. Negated. Gain 2,000 life? Oh my, but we both gain. He goes back up to 4,000. <laughs> okay, let go. So impact would stay on the field, but Fiendish Chain activation negated. Lethal. Fool. Yes, free to play. The plays, the plays, the plays. Let's get keeping. Keeper of Dragon Magic. Maybe we want to set up a double Palmerization. We want a Luna Light and Palmerize, so maybe it's crazy. Keep the Palmerize in the hand. Let's do that. Let's send the Luna Light. Let's get grabbing for a Neos Fusion. Keeper gives us a really good turn one opener, or Neos Fusion itself. Let's get Fusion. Sending the Martin. Martin grab a fusion. Perfect. Salutes from Puerto Rico. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right. Grab the fusion back to Yami Yugi. And hopefully he summons an extra deck monster. The thing is, Brave Neos kind of pushes them to summon an extra deck monster. 
Now, for some, I'm sure you're thinking, why am I playing Grit? Well, if this deck blows up, you need Grit. Because, for example, right now, if he were to just have a Keeper, Keeper is lethal. We lose to a single Keeper. He summons Keeper, he grabs Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion, send a Fox. Fox, set our monster to zero attack. Double attack, that's lethal. And that's something that we could do too when the opportunity arises. So Grit is gonna become very important as this deck becomes more popular. So you're gonna wanna stay away from the fatal garbage. Perga Trio. Okay, extra deck monster. It's lit. Shadow at the prime for 13 months, one month post being a Gia. Pogu, thank you. Oh, he bought boosting. He bought boosting. We protecting. I hope you, you wouldn't have, if you had another, I think you would have used it. All right. And just like that, let's go. Let's go. Got Palmer Eyes and Luna Life Fusion. It's lit. Let's go. Luna Light Fusion. Cat Dancer, get dancing. We're going to send the fox. Send the bird. Bird and the fox. Let's get reducing. Now, if this gets reduced, he's still a boost, right? No, I think it's... What is it? Let me read it. Change to zero. Okay. Bird gets summoning. So it's going to summon first and then reduce. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Get tributing, and now we got that double attack. Super duper lethal. Yeah, buddy. Attack. Nothing. Fool. Attack. Lethal. Back to Fortnite. Free to play. Clapping invoked. Yes.